Okay, guys, so here today I should be going over this module, which is called Timed Out. This is a module by by that one kid. As you can see here. So this will feature a so um how do they refer to it in here? The watch. This is this. So we're currently on stage one. So, as you see here, take the last digit of the serial number, which is 8, fill a row in the table below. So, 8 is more than 5, so we're using this row. The number of batteries is even? It is. We're saying the number of batteries is 0, which divided by 2, 0. And use this column, so we're using this column. And this is stage 1's digit, so we're going to keep note of this digit. And we're going to when the last digit is that. We now have a number. The, the, the watch will now be showing a number. We're going to have to multiply such a number, so 3, 6, 2. We will multiply that by 79. As you see, multiply the number by 79 and modulo the whole thing by 100. We get 98. If the number is a factor of 100, say so you is, is stage 1 digit. 98 is not a factor of 100, so we're using this. Otherwise, add my reports. This specifically means add my reports to the number we got. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we're going to be adding 4 to this. So, 98 plus 4, get 102. Much of the 10 to get stage 2 digit. The stage 2 digit is a 2. We're pressing it on the 2. We now have these two buttons and these two digits on either side of the the watch. We'll be altering both of them differently and we're pressing this one first and then this one. So let's start with the left digit. We have six, we're gonna divide it by the amount of ports, which we have four, six over four. If the remainders ignore them, so we're gonna be doing six over four. Which is 1.5, and we're ignoring the remainders, we get 1. Add 1, 2, multiply by 7, 14. Modulo by the amount of batteries, we don't have any, so 1, but modulo will get 0. We're going to add 1, multiply by 60, and this is stage 3's left digit. More than not, I find that stage 3's left digit is always 1, but that might not be the case for certain examples. Maybe with less ports or something. Okay, the right digit anyway. We're going to be multiplying the amount of ports this time. So 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4 is 12. Add 10, 22. Divide by the amount of indicators, which is 2, which gives us 11. Ignore the reindeer, which is still 11. Multiply by 2, by 22 again. Modulo by 3, 22. Mod 3 is 1. Add 35, we get 36. Module 60, we still have 36. I don't know why the module 60 is because we are modulating by 3. Anyway. You can ignore this, you're not going to have to do that bit. This is a sprite digit. So 2 digits are going to be 1 and 36, so. Good damn, we just missed the one there. Right then, we're going to have to wait, because unfortunately you can only press it on that time. So let's just go to this part. Watch will now come back. Now you have to do is press the watch when the last is this bond is the same as the sum of all the digits we've currently used. So we can do that now. 1 plus 2 plus, plus 1, and then we can modulo 10 already. So plus 6. So it's third seven, that's nine, that's ten. So digit zero, so we'll be pressing on zero afterwards. But first we will have to press this button on a one. Which we'll have to wait a little while for. And 
and now we're going to be pressing the other one on 36. <laughs> Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, and then now go blank. We can now press it on the zero like we calculated, and then we just press it one more time to choose this module. We get our module. We're striking. If anything pressed at the wrong time, the rush will remain. Watch this press. They're all on stage three, so do not press it on stage three because you're pressing the buttons instead. Smooth is pressed wrong on a stage but stage three. Once more buttons are pressed in the wrong order, the module will strike, however, the module won't reset. So you don't go back to stage one, you just carry on from where you were. So hopefully, you understand how timed out works. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.